Hi, I'm Marna, and welcome to the Twin Flame Detox. So today I'm talking about one of those facts of life that none of us want to deal with, and no, it's not taxes. Most of us who are going through the detox are doing so because we choose to energetically decouple from someone. But death is a reality in the Twin Flame journey. I have a very dear friend who right now is mourning the death of her twin flame. This is one of those topics that you don't see addressed very often because no one wants to even consider the possibility. The truth is before I energetically decoupled from my twin flame, I did feel him overdose once. It was reversed. He did survive. But, oh my gods, I never want to feel that again. I never want to go through the pain of feeling that again. And it has given me a degree of sensitivity towards the pain of those who have permanently lost their current physical form of their twin flame in this incarnation. Some... People choose to lead this route through suicide, some, some through accidents, some through illness, especially now with illness. So this exercise is to help with releasing the physical form of the twin flame. It is to help you move through that energetic separation. The first step is to realize that it's just a physical form. We are all energetic beings. I know you've heard me say it before, and it's true. We are energetic beings having a physical experience. And while what has awakened most of us to this journey has been discovering the physical form of one of our twins, that is not the only form they or we exist in. There's a lot of talk about being fifth dimensional versus being third dimensional. I talk about it too. There are times when the third dimensional form quite simply is no longer there. And the only means of connection we have is on the fifth dimensional level. And that is very cold comfort when you're laying at bed weeping because that third dimensional form is irretrievably gone. But the fifth dimensional energetic form is still there. It can still be contacted. And quite often we do so in our subconscious realm without even realizing it. We do so through dreams. We do through so through meditation. In fact, if you ever lost someone close to you and you've thought about them, and you could swear you feel them standing right behind you. You do. Our energetic forms do continue. Death is not permanent. And we do come back into other physical forms. So meditation for getting through the hard points of coping with this. And haven't done very many meditations on here. Please let me know if meditations are something that you find of value. I am putting more of them in the extended videos than I have been in these little short ones. Again, information on ordering an extended video is in the box below, including information on ex getting the entire bundle of extended videos for part one. So, Meditation time. I would like you to sit or lay in a comfortable position. If you can, and it's comfortable for you, keep your spine straight because this does help with the alignment of energies. Close your eyes. Take a very deep breath. Feel it go all the way into your lungs, feel it filling your diaphragm. And then slowly, over a three count, release it. 
three, two, one. Now then on your next breath, as you are releasing, feel your muscles relax. So deep, 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 deep inhale all the way down. Hold it. And release. Three, two, one. Now keep this pattern of breathing. Deep, 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 all the way down. Hold it. And release. Three, two, one. As you're keeping up this pattern of breathing, Notice what thoughts flit through your mind, but don't hold on to them. There's nothing there that you can't think about later. Allow those thoughts to come and go without your focus. And as you are entering into this space of not thinking, Open your heart to welcoming in those who love you and who have passed over. Not just your twin, anyone. Allow yourself the good memories and find the feeling attached to those memories. Feel the warmth. Feel the love. Don't focus on the memories themselves. Focus on those feelings. The good feelings. The feelings that you cherish. See those feelings as a warm light that surrounds you and permeates you. Enjoy being in this light. Welcome this light. And as it suffuses you, add your own love to the love that you feel. Add your own acceptance to what you feel. Now picture this warm, accepting, loving light, condensing down into a tiny heart-shaped locket. And put that locket safely within your own heart. Know that it is there. And know that simply with a thought, you can touch that warmth and feel it all over again. And now, one more deep, 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 deep breath. Hold it. Release. Three, two, one. And open your eyes, feeling that warmth and that love still surrounding you and coming from within that tiny little locket that you have locked safely away. That warmth and that love is available to you anytime you need to touch it with just a thought. That warmth and that love supports you at any time. I do hope this meditation has been helpful for you. And thank you for joining me on the Twin Flame Detox.